ASHG board member Dr. Neil Hanterd is with me now. Thank you for taking the time. What does leadership at ASHG look like right now? Yeah, so leadership right now at ASHG is multifaceted um, in that genetics has reached uh, several different groups and specialties. It's being used in many different arenas. Um, and so that means that the society has to be um, cognizant of the of a broad portfolio. And leadership is also being proactive. So we are uh, being flexible and responsive and adapted to external circumstances, things that change the current pandemic. Um, but it's also being um, prospective. So we are putting in place, leadership is putting in place things to forge the future and to lead the future and keep the society at the forefront and the cutting edge of human genetics. And what are some of the main focus areas for leadership within ASHG? Right, so leadership within ASHG right now is focusing in many different areas. As I said, because genetics is so broad, it's become so multifaceted, it, it requires us to look across the breadth of human genetics and prioritize across between policies and research and clinical aspects. Um, but I think everything that we're doing is being guided by our strategic plan. And the main vision within our strategic plan is to ensure that people everywhere can benefit from genetics and genomics. And so the, the leadership is really focused on ensuring that that, that people everywhere part is suitably, is suitably done, um, that we are being purposefully inclusionary to all peoples and all groups, um, but then also ensuring that the benefits of genetics, the way in which it can transform medicine, transforms lives in a positive way, is also going to be at the forefront. And so almost all the activities that we have and have prioritized are geared at moving that vision forward for the future. If members wanted to get more involved in leadership or work their way up to a leadership role, how can they do that? It's a, it's a really great question um, to, as we try to understand what the member, how we can engage the membership to do more. Um, I think one thing obviously is the committees in the society. The society has traditionally leaned upon a number of committees to do some of the work that's to be, to be done and that continues and that's been expanded. So as opportunities come to participate in various program committees, leader, uh, advocacy committees, those are opportunities for the membership to get involved and that's a good way of working um, up towards leadership. But I think the other aspect is that, you know, we can't reach the broad group of people that we want to reach and we can't do the multifaceted work without engaging all our memberships. And that's being able to do things at the local or the regional um, level to have members who are engaged in advocacy at that level to to have members who engage you know, universities and industry at that level. So I think those opportunities should be coming. We're trying to get the word out, um, but certainly those would be really good ways to get involved in the societies, the society's activities. And that's certainly the way to sort of propel yourself forward in terms of leadership. Thanks again for watching, and if you'd like to watch more clips like this, go ahead and click on some of the links to my side for more exciting content from this year's ASHG virtual meeting.